The Attorney General of New York has joined with 19 other state attorneys general uh, to launch a multi-state criminal investigation focusing on whether ExxonMobil, other petroleum and energy companies, as well as public policy institutions and scientists are engaged in some kind of racketeering enterprise uh, to mislead the public on climate change. Most recently, as part of that multi-state investigation, the Competitive Enterprise Institute received a wide-ranging subpoena asking for all of its internal communications and external communications, uh, internal documents, basically everything it's ever done on climate change over a period of a decade. The prosecutors involved in this case are drawing on precedent um, of RICO, civil RICO claims that were brought against the tobacco industry in the 90s and 2000s. But this is very different. Uh, on the tobacco industry, there was arguably an effort to cover up what were very serious harms and defects with its products that that industry knew about. On the other hand, with climate change, you've got this enormous, very wide-ranging, ongoing, decades-long debate where the answers are still unclear in terms of exactly how it functions, what the different parameters are, the extent to which uh, human anthropogenic uh, emissions are relevant, and the extent to which we might see catastrophic impacts or not, and the extent to which we ought to respond preemptively in a policy fashion or not. Being targeted for a subpoena, being the subject of a lawsuit, having that cloud of legal uncertainty floating over your head is enough to intimidate and it's enough to chill a very important speech. Simply put, if we're going to reach the right solutions for climate change, we're going to spend the right amount of money, if we're going to have the right regulations, if we're going to reach a policy that people agree is a reasonable and correct policy, the way we're going to get there is by having a free and open and wide-ranging debate. We're not going to get there by artificially shutting down half the debate, by threatening people with criminal sanctions. This isn't just about climate change. It's about the way that we formulate public policy and the way that we participate in politics in the United States of America. We've always had the view in America that more speech is better. That if you disagree with someone, you don't shut them up, you tell them why he's wrong and you tell the public why he's wrong.